Hi everybody, welcome to an inbox review of this, the Academy F89J Scorpion in 170 second scale. The F89J was a twin engine, two crew, all weather fighter uh, in the late 40s. I think first flew in 1947. The first aircraft, I believe, armed with air to air nuclear weapons. This kit is a rebox of the 1992 Hobbycraft kit. Um, but reboxes aren't always bad, and we'll have a look and see, see whether this one is, was a good idea or a bad idea. I didn't buy this kit, it was sent to me by Alan, otherwise known as Made Modeler on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel uh, in the description. He had a photo competition. Uh, identify these 10 photos on his channel not that long since I entered and was randomly picked out with a random number generator to win this so thanks for that um, there's the box art so uh, the, the actual airplane few images of the kit in a different scheme to the one on the front um, same box art on the side description of the content in many different languages so there's the box let's have a look what is in the box now surprisingly for a 170 second scale kit and especially one first tooled in the early 90s you actually get four uh, grey plastic screws sprues and one clear so here's the first sprue there's no overview of it you have the fuselage halves the nose parts uh, and various other parts I think this bit goes underneath there's gear parts and things like that let's have a look at the detail on it the fuselage itself now there is some raised detail but the majority of the lines are very nice there is some recessed details there are some rather but there are some raised as well but I'm not so fussed about fine raised lines all the really important ones seem to be recessed that's the details on the wheel which is quite nice I do like this here is one of the instrument panels all the dials and buttons picked out and the same there on the instrument panel for the pilot that's so you've got some quite nice detail on that as well. There's another panel that you can see all the wiring on. So the detail is quite nice. Um, there's the, the front gear leg, the main gear legs. Internally there's no detail, but I believe there is a cockpit tub. I don't, I don't know, I'll have to have a look at that. Um, gear doors. There is internal and external de detail on them, but I've looked at the, at the instructions and that's that's interesting. That that's there. I don't know why. I'll explain that in a moment. So that's the first sprue. The second sprue just contains the wings. The four parts for the, the the two uppers and two lowers. This detail is all recessed. We get some nice detail as well. And here, the detail in the wheel wells is quite nice. That will take a wash very nicely in any coloured pipes and things so that will look quite quite fetching I think and there are holes for well you put the holes through and of course that's the attachment points for the hard points so that's the second grey sprue sprue 3 is the mostly the horizontal stabiliser um, and seats with moulded in seat belts but that's not so bad yeah here's the cockpit tub and there's quite a nice amount of detail in there there's a lot of things to pick out and other small small parts stick some sort of lever or controls things like that so that's sprue three sprue four appears to be just plainly ordnance um here we have missiles and they also have the guidance wings over there to slot in. These are the two big, I don't know whether they're fuel tanks, they look like fuel tanks on the wings, but I know certain versions were hollow at the front and were filled with rockets. Um, these are the, the hard points, with, once again, some reasonable detail. And the nuclear genie missiles. Once again, nice detail on there. The clear parts, I think, are the most disappointing part about the kit. They've once again got some some nice detail on them, 
but as you can see with the lensing effect they're not they're not the greatest parts they're quite thick and they are bending the light quite a lot uh, so we've got the main canopy which the entire thing slides back the front of the canopy and I don't know what that might be um, there is a radar operator so maybe that's part of something for him I'll have a look at the instructions for that so they they've got some nice detail on you can see some rivet detail and things but they are quite thick okay the instructions in true academy style we have a repeat of the box art a little bit about the aircraft itself in English and I think Korean uh, the Northrop F-89J Scorpion with a twin engine blah de blah that sort of thing uh, construction starts step one is placing together the seats and then the cockpit tub then you're straight on to the assembly of the fuselage around that tells you to drill out the holes for the hard points on step three step four putting the wings together and then attaching them in step five onto the fuselage so by step five it's mostly built step six is attachment of canopy tail unit parts for the empennage um, wingtips underneath parts and starting to talk about gear bays and things on step seven step eight we're starting to put the wheels on for those of you who've not done an academy kit before they can be quite confusing now what uh, is confusing a little bit for me is you get some nice detail in the wheel wells here and on the underside the inside of these these doors here you get some nice detail but when the wheels are down this door closes it will open up to allow the wheel out and then close back up when the wheel is down so you are never going to see that detail here on the next stage which is stage 10 putting the ordnance on you can see those doors are closed so what's the point of having that detail in there if they're never going to be open it's going to be a very rare occurrence when you have that door actually open but we have two schemes Air National Guard for Iowa in 1969 that's in a grey colour and then the Dakota Air National Guard in I believe a uh, bare metal finish and scarlet red silver and red I don't know if that's going to be actual painted silver or bare metal finish so I'll have a look at that I think I fancied this version with the red on it than the other one you have a location map at the back just to help you with the parts there's all the screws on there and that's it for the instructions and of course there's the transfers so various stars and bars red and white parts white lettering normal you'd expect certain symbols Air National Guard this black is probably um, the anti-glare panel, but I'll probably paint that rather than use the transfer. Uh, a little bit of stencil detail, which is nice. Not too much, but some just to f just to set it off, so it looks nice. Um, and quality-wise, you won't really be able to see this. It seems rather thin and a little bit glossy but not too much but they do seem thin and all seem to be in register so there you go that's my review of the F89J Scorpion from Academy a rebox of the Hobbycraft kit from 92 I'd like to say thank you to Alan for sending me this it's a very nice looking kit um, I think the, the idea on this one is that yes it was a good idea to repop that kit uh, there's a decent amount of detail in it, and I think I'll look forward to uh, building it soon. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, keep modelling, and have fun. Bye.